This is Vishal Mohanan, one of the top professional Halo players in the world. He's earned hundreds of thousands of dollars competing in Halo tournaments, and today, he's about to kick my ass. Video games are insanely popular. We all play them. I love them. And guess what? They make more money than the music and film industry combined. And competitive gaming has a worldwide audience of over 400 million people. That's why today I'm in Long Island, New York. I'm at Vishal Mohanan's house. He's better known as L-Town. He's gonna show me what it's like to be a professional Halo player. I'm Zach Cherry. This is Button Mashers. My parents are upstairs, but they don't come down here because this is the gaming spot. This is my room. So right here, this is my uh, gaming monitor. Like the fastest response time you can get. It's like one MS, so like there's no lag time at all on it. Astro headset, Astro mix amp, it's my computer, my Xbox. This is the controller that I use every day. So you're in here like six to eight hours a day, which that's like a full-time job. Basically. Just putting in the work. Yeah. So this is the backup controller, just in case, you know, that one breaks. Yeah. And on the back, it's like, you can customize it, you have paddles. For me personally, I just like have cool colors and stuff. But some people, they can't actually aim and jump at the same time. This is the jump button. You use your thumb for both. Right. So that's why they have the paddles. My X Games medal, oh, this was amazing. This is probably one of the best memories I've had. We got invited to play a tournament at the X Games. We definitely feel confident and um, looking at 3 1 them again, maybe. We are looking at the very first bronze medalist. And that is it. L Town already standing in his booth. They have Allegiance and crew have won X Games bronze. It was like a one one time thing, yeah. So this is, this is this like is, one of the rarest X Games medals out there. This is super rare. Got some other swag over here. My first team was Velocity, and then that was like the amateur side. And then when I finally like became like a top pro and I, I got second out to World Champs, that's Allegiance. I would wear this at a water park. And how about the hat? Oh, this is like my L-Town hat. Every time I play at tournaments, I always rock it. I would never ever leave here. When you like first were playing a lot, how did your parents react to it? They didn't want me to play. They're like, you're wasting time playing like all these hours. Like they would always knock on my door, stop playing or go study. This is never gonna help you out in life. So how'd you finally convince them that this was like something you wanted to go all in on? Kind of proving myself. I brought my brother to an event because they wouldn't let me travel alone. So my brother came and then that's like when I did well in my first tournament and he kind of vouched for me and said that this is a real deal, he's good and let him do it. So once I was bringing money home and I was older, then they finally like, all right, you know what, I'll give you a chance. You have two brothers, so there's three of you total. Uh, they both work in hospitals and my mom works in hospital too. My dad's retired now. So my mom just wanted me to have like a real job like in the health field rather than like playing video games for a living. Back in the day, no one really knew like you can make money and a living off of esports, video games. Just being a part of an organization, they give you salary every month, and then tournament winnings, and then sponsors. Like you make a good amount of money. Well, last year actually, I got second at the Halo World Championships. From Allegiance, Sal L Town Mohanan. And we walked away with $500,000. So that was like the first time I walked away with that much money, and it still feels kind of surreal. Tell me about your nickname, L Town. When I played Halo 1, back then everyone used to call Elmont L-Town. I was like, oh, let me rep my town. And sometimes the townies will get at you. The fans of the townies, yeah. Love it. It was finally time to challenge Vsal to a game of one-on-one. -on -one. Spoiler alert, I may not survive. And how worried are you that I'm going to beat you? Not worried at all. Not at all. No. OK, so I think probably the most important question of the day is what's going on with this painting back here. Oh, that painting back there is for people like you who just lose whenever they come over and play me. It's for you to like get over the loss. Just envision yourself on that beach. I need a I need a gamer tag. I'm gonna be L City, just a little bit bigger than L Town. Okay. No! Oh God! Are you getting scared I'm, over there? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting scared in real life. Ah! 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 Yeah! I'm gonna toss out some possible trash talks that you can use. You can use these anytime. So maybe say like, "Welcome to Hell Town. The mayor is the devil." The schools are awful because it's hell. So what do you think my chances are of joining Ronin in the next? Uh, zero uh, chance. Okay, zero. Zero. Oh, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. I guess what you're dead. Three, two, one. No! Oh my God! You're, now you're playing mind games with me. You can't just say three, two, one. As an adult, I haven't felt helpless in so long. Do you think you could literally close your eyes and kill me? He literally is killing me with his eyes closed. Do you think there's something about Halo specifically that really drew you to it versus other shooters or like 
Just being able to outplay people and just like outsmarting them. I like to flank a lot. I'm always behind people, always being annoying, always like shooting them from the back. That's what I'm known for now and that's why people like get annoyed when they play me. What's your like controller technique? Because I see you're holding the controller different than I'm holding the controller. What's the way, going on with that? The way I hold a controller so I can do this. I can jump and move my aimer at the same time. Most people can't do both. I usually yeah, my pointer finger clicks all the buttons. But you can get these rockets right here if you want. You know, I'll give you I'll give you a chance. You let me pick up the rockets. So your best chance to kill me? Oh, he got me. Oh, <laughs> he got his first kill. I got him. Wow, anything is possible. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do anything. Okay, so I lost 22 to one. That was truly disheartening. So, you know, sort of the stereotype of gamers is that they're out of shape, but uh, you're really into staying active. Why is that important to you? Just being healthy is important. So in high school, I used to be in a track team. I used to run like a sub like 430 mile. I was pretty fast and we went to like New York State Championships and that definitely helps with like competing at tournaments. I don't feel as nervous and I know what like, pressure feels like. So I guess my training from there and like my discipline kind of like transfers to Halo. What's it like playing at a tournament when you're like in an arena and there are fans that are watching versus just like destroying me in private? You make one good play and then the entire crowd like just reacts to it. It's surreal, like people are watching me and they're like getting hyped over it. And like playing at home is just like, no one could actually see you, you don't hear any reaction. And then, you know, playing someone like you, it's like, <laughs> I could do that in my sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom might be a little better <laughs> than you. What is your favorite thing about playing Halo? Honestly, traveling and meeting new people is always a cool aspect to being a pro. I made like some of the best friends I've ever like met through Halo. And I'll probably be friends with them forever now, you know? All right, so you you thoroughly destroyed me. You killed me 50 times in a row, probably. Thank you for teaching me about Halo. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, kind of think about my life and see myself out. All right, man. Vsal was right. This beach does help me get over the embarrassing loss. Today I learned I'd probably never be good enough to be a pro gamer. I guess some people are just born to be button mashers. <laughs>